Hey guys, today we're going to talk about intermittent fasting and how to improve your mental clarity and your mental sharpness. Now there's some really cool research with doing intermittent fasting and improving certain parts of the brain. I'm going to put some links down below. One key part is something called the hippocampus. Okay, you have two of them on the left and right side of your brain. The Greek word for hippocampus means seahorse because it looks like a seahorse. But it's intimately involved with learning, memory, and spatial navigation. Okay, what does that mean? It means your ability to locate yourself in your environment. Like, um, like it's kind of a GPS, so to speak. Now, when people have dementia from Alzheimer's, they have a very difficult time finding out where they are in a certain environment. They kind of get lost in a parking lot. It's kind of like they lost their GPS. So by improving hippocampus, you can increase your ability to learn. You can actually increase the synapses in your brain. You actually can regrow nerve cells. That's very exciting. You can slow down the aging process. You can improve your memory. You can sometimes improve your emotional state because the hippocampus is similar to a relay switch with different emotions and definitely improve your ability to find yourself in your environment. Now what's interesting in animal studies, if you damage the hippocampus, uh, that animal becomes hyperactive and they have difficulty in learning. Sounds familiar with kids, right? So the question is, um, what causes damage with this part of your brain? Okay, Stress, high levels of cortisol, uh, there's a condition with high cortisol called Cushing syndrome, and you see damage with the hippocampus. So one of the symptoms would be dementia and memory problems, but it can come from stress. Vitamin B1 deficiencies can create a problem with the hippocampus. In fact, even if you look up um, vitamin B1 deficiencies, uh, one of the side effects is memory loss, okay? And then we have high levels of sugar and insulin can also destroy the hippocampus. And that's why one of the symptoms of diabetes, for example, is dementia. And it just so happens that high sugar and insulin can deplete vitamin B1. High cortisol can deplete B1. So vitamin B1 is vital in allowing the hippocampus to work correctly. And the best source of B1 would be nutritional yeast. Okay, so that's what I would recommend getting. You can get it in tablet form but it'd be something that would, could actually greatly improve someone that's trying to improve these things right here. The other thing that's really important is aerobic exercise. I'm talking like long walks, getting lots of oxygen, um, low stress, very beneficial to helping improving this structure right here. Now, as far as intermittent fasting goes, um, I'm gonna recommend that you start with three meals a day, no snacks whatsoever. The snacking completely destroys the benefits from intermittent fasting. You have to add more fat to the meal to go longer. Then over time, gradually knock out your breakfast. A lot of times you're just not gonna be hungry in the morning. Well, don't eat if you're not hungry, okay? Our bodies do not need to eat every hour and a half unless we have a problem with our blood sugars. So then you have two meals a day, okay? And then you wanna gradually start shrinking the distance between the two meals from maybe eight hours to six hours to eventually four hours. So if you were to eat at one o'clock and five o'clock, that would be awesome, okay? And if you really wanna take it one step further, you can start going to one meal a day. That would create some serious improvement in your hippocampus, especially if you have any of these problems right here with your memory and spatial navigation issues or learning, you're gonna see some great improvements. All right, so there you have it. So go ahead and apply this and comment down below. Hey guys, a lot of you already have my book. Some of you don't, but this new edition called the New Body Type Guide is an upgrade from my last edition called The Seven Principles of Fat Burning. It has 156 images, 378 pages, full glossary. I talk about keto, intermittent fasting, the body types in detail. I have a new stress chapter. I'm gonna show you exactly what to eat and a comprehensive FAQ. I put a link down below, check it out.